Hi everyone, this is another section of my Corel Draw tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be designing something similar to what we're having on screen. So this is what we are going to be designing today, just something simple. Alright, without wasting our time, please let me quickly give this reminder. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. <clears throat> please like and share my um, video tutorial with your friends and if this tutorial happy in any way please i'd like it to put that down in the section box area or if you want me to create a particular design for you you want me to make a tutorial on a particular design please just feel free to reach out to me thank you so much all right without wasting our time i'm just going to open up a new page Control n then the next thing i'm going to do is um hit on the f5 f5 key on the keyboard or just select my sorry i mean x f6 rather so I'm just going to select my rectangular tool and I'm going to press and hold the control key while dragging this rectangular tool and make sure that my control key is um, on hold. Okay, so I can just drop this when I, I'm okay with the size I actually want. All right, let's just go with the size if this is cool by us. <clears throat> All right, the next thing I want to do is you can just import your background by just right clicking on any area here and click on import go to the folder where you have your bg and just bring it in so this is the background i'll be using for today this is the background so what i just want to do is i want to make sure that it fills it into this um, working area this is my working area that i want to so i'm just going to drag this with a right click and i'm going to drop it in so i'll select power click inside <coughs> excuse me so with that i just drag and adjust this to all sides so I just want to do this. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this. Normally I'm, I I won't do this normally, but I just have to allow this for this tutorial. So then I click on stop editing. <coughs> I'm done with that. So the next thing I want to do is I want to type some text. Okay, I want to have um tunes. Okay, let me just put that here anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. So, then I'm going to add my, um, my fat burner text. Okay, so for my fat burner, I'm going to use the font lemma and I'm going to keep the font size of 72. I'm going to kind of reduce this like this. So then my Dion's is going to take a font size of I'm going to use 42 and it's going to be Calibri Bold. Okay, so I'm going to have it like this. I'm not going to do anything yet. So the next thing I want to do is I want to type my text, which is T. Then I'm going to use Grid Vibes as my um, font for that. I'm not going to do anything yet also. All right, the next thing I want to do is, I want to have this area. Okay, and I want to have it. So to duplicate this, okay, let me just delete this. What I did is I click on this, I drag it down with my left click and while I'm going to drop it, I'm going to use my right click to drop this. So I just click on my right click button. So it's going to make a copy of that. Again, so, so let me just produce that again. So I'm just going to drag and just drop with a right click. Then I just need um, six of it. So I'm just going to press my Ctrl R four times. So Ctrl R, Ctrl R, Ctrl R, that's how many? Five, six. So that's just going to reproduce or um, <coughs> replicate that. Okay, with that done. Okay, let's zoom down our work. So. All right, so I just want to take this up. 
and this is going to come all the way up all right now i can apply my colors um to this but before that let me quickly just put in some text i want to have um, this text I want to make this real um, design else I will have just copied the one from the previous one but I just want to make this actually real so I'm going to use font size of 28 and it's going to be cal calibrated and I'm going to do shift page up because I'm going to be applying some background there okay let me do it for the first one I'm going to remove the um, outline that's all you need to do is to right click on this on the color palette area so when i right click you can see there's no color there so i can just pick any color but that's not the color i'm going for actually okay so i'll just double click on my color then i can create the color i actually want so if i'm using the um senior magenta yellow black um, color code as cy cmyk so my color code is just going to be 100 Hundred, sorry, it's not one thousand, and I'll leave the rest as zero. So I just press the OK button, then I can change my text to white for the first one. Why for the second one? I'm going to remove the outline as well. So I'm just going to change the color to hundred zero zero. Excuse me. So this is going to be hundred, and this is going to be zero so that's the color i'm going for in this case so i'm just going to have this i'm going to have my text in black so okay so for now let's just leave it like that so the next thing i'm going to do is um okay i want to change the content of the text to something else So for that, I'm just going to reduce the size for this just to fit in here. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the outline for this and I'm going to apply my color. That's not anyway. So I'm going to use the RGB scheme for this and I'm going to be having 17516. Um, okay, 206. I think I'm okay with that. So I decided to change this for this particular text. So I'm going to be adding this. Then I can change my text to... <clears throat> okay so the next one i'm going to be having is this i'm going to remove the outline then i'm going to apply five nine eight one zero zero
All right, my text is going to be. <clears throat> so for some reason, I decided to change some of this text. Because while I was creating it in the first version, I was not really specific about the color or the content I want to use. So I just create them in hurry. So now I'm just going to make some things different. So I'm going to change the color code for this as well. So I'm going to be having just 10, not 20. So I think that's good. So this time around, I'll be using the red box color. All right, so I'm going to change the text to something else. All right. Okay, I don't want to come to do this twice. So let me just think, do this. Let me do this once and for all. So I'm just going to add some outline F12. So I'm going to add an outline of eight. I think that is too much. So I'm just going to give six. Okay. All right, let's just leave that away. So I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to leave this for some reason. So let's quickly take the last area. Uh, my color code is going to be 106, 263. So I'm going to add the text color blue for this and my text is going to me to be rather So I'm just going to leave it as black. I think I prefer it to be black. All right, so now let's continue with our other part of the work. So now I'm just going to quickly do this. I'm going to um, get some of my images I'll be using. I need this, I need this. And lastly, I'm going to need this. So just drag them into my work. Alright, so that shouldn't be a problem. So I can just zoom them down and to a lot of my work like this. Okay, so I'm just going to power click this inside my work and adjust based on what I prefer. Oh, that reminds me i need to import one other thing um okay let's just do that documents um image i think i should have it here okay that's one I'm going to add it here all right so that's my logo for this design 
So I have a. All right, the next thing I want to have is. Oh, there is an image I have not yet dropped. Okay, um, where's, where's that? Where's that? Where's that? All right, this. Let me drop this also. So. All right, so that's set. So the next thing I want to do is I want to bring this down and I want to have just this. I'm going to remove this and I'm going to have just this. Okay, just going to group all of this. So I can shift page up. Okay, now I'm going to be doing this. Okay, I'm just going to pack click everything inside to make my work easier. Okay, before that, I'm going to change the color for this to um, 80, 39, 20. No, I want to use a different color. So I'm going to add an outline, then I'm going to apply shadow. So I'm going to pick up my shadow too. So I think I need to change my outline. Of them, all right. So, the same thing is going to apply here. I'm going to add an outline to this also. All right, I'm going to leave that that way. So, I need to um, take all of these inside so i'm going to power click them inside e all right i have to adjust this <sighs> that's good all right so that's the end of all we have to do for today so now when i like i can just remove the outline here and i can zoom up oh there's something i need to do sorry this is going to be right and it's going to be having outline 